the LG Wing 5G has finally arrived in India. The crazy looking smartphone allows users to spin the main screen horizontally. When in swivel mode, the main display can be used for primary task while the secondary display serves as a supplemental window for another app or extended functionality. The swivel design comes with a dual lock mechanism and a hydraulic damper which absorbs shock. It features a curved 6.8 inch P OLED main display with FHD plus resolution, a secondary 3.9 inch G OLED screen and a Snapdragon 765G chipset paired with 8 GB RAM and up to 256 GB of storage. There's a 64 megapixel triple camera setup with a dedicated gimbal mode, a 32 megapixel selfie snapper and a 4000 mAh battery. The LG Wing 5G costs 69,990 rupees and will go on sale from November 9th. The LG Velvet has been launched in India eight months after its global debut. The smartphone features a 48 megapixel triple rear camera setup arranged in a raindrop design and a 16 megapixel front facing selfie camera. It runs on the Snapdragon 845 chipset and sports a 6.8 inch Full HD Plus P OLED display that houses a central U shaped notch and an in display fingerprint scanner. The phone packs 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. The battery is a 4300mAh unit with support for both fast and wireless charging. The LG Velvet costs 36,990 rupees, while the LG Velvet dual screen combo costs 49,990 rupees. The smartphone will go on sale from October 30th. Microblogging site Twitter's explanations to a parliamentary panel on showing Ladakh as part of China are inadequate, committee chairman Minakshi Lekhi said on Wednesday. She also added that the act amounts to criminal offence, attracting imprisonment of seven years. Twitter representatives appeared before the Joint Committee of Parliament on Data Protection Bill 2019 and were questioned by members on showing Ladakh as part of China. The representatives told the panel that the social media company respects the sensitivities of India, but Lakey pointed out that it is not a question of sensitivities only, but a matter of India's sovereignty and integrity. Taiwan-based electronics major Acer has launched the Swift 5 laptop in India with Intel's 11th Gen processors. It comes with a 14-inch Full HD IPS touchscreen display supported by multi-finger gestures and has 340 nits of brightness. There's a high-grade magnesium lithium and magnesium aluminium chassis under which there's Intel's new XE architecture and optional NVIDIA GeForce MX350 GPUs. The notebook also has 16 GB RAM for quick loading and 1 TB of SSD. Acer has said users can control how much sound the device makes by alternating between three cooling modes, silent, normal or performance. It also comes with a fingerprint reader and claims to last up to 17 hours. The Acer Sweat 5 starts at 79,999 rupees and will be available from November 1st. Cyberpunk 2077, arguably the biggest game this year, has been delayed once again. Developer CD Projekt has announced that the futuristic open-world role-playing game will now release on December 10th, three weeks after its previously announced November 19th launch. The studio offered fans their humble apologies, citing the need to ensure Cyberpunk 2077 runs well across nine different gaming platforms, including the upcoming PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, as well as Windows PCs. Microsoft has announced that its video conferencing service Teams now has more than 115 million daily active users. That's more than 50% rise from the 75 million that the software giant reported almost six months ago. The company said that Microsoft 365 users generated more than 30 billion collaboration minutes in a single day this quarter. Audio maker Sennheiser has launched a new pair of Momentum True Wireless 2 Anniversary Edition earbuds on the occasion of the company's 75-year anniversary in India. The new truly wireless earbuds come in an all-black design and feature the original Sennheiser logo. Everything else is the same as the regular variant which includes 7mm dynamic drivers, Qualcomm Aptex Bluetooth codec and active noise cancellation. The new earbuds are exclusively available via Sennheiser India online store for 24,990 rupees. 
Sony Gaming Chief told Reuters that going by pre-orders, the demand for PlayStation 5 console has been very considerable. Sony reportedly pre-sold as many PS5 consoles in the first 12 hours in the US as in the first 12 weeks for its predecessor PlayStation 4 device. The new PlayStation 5 will retail at 49,990 rupees, while the digital edition costs 39,990 rupees. The gaming console will launch on November 12th globally, but Indian availability hasn't been announced yet. Samsung has launched the 8K Festival under which its premium QLED 8K TVs will be available at special prices with discounts of up to 6 lakh 30,000 rupees. During this offer period, consumers will get a free first generation Samsung Galaxy Fold when purchasing the 85 inch, 82 inch, and 75 inch models. The special offers on QLED 8K TVs will be available at all leading consumer electronic retailers across the country until October 31st.